right, everybody. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Rodney Harris. We're back to talk about next week because we have some big changes in your forecast here. Hello there. Um, as most of you get back to work next week, so that's the focus of this weather update here uh, on our streaming channels. What you can certainly count on is some much colder weather moving in in addition to uh, at least some rain in North Georgia. But as if you've been watching us here uh, over the past couple of days, you know that there's also the opportunity uh, for some winter weather across parts of North Georgia. So let's get right to it. Uh, here's a look at what you can expect. I'm going to kind of simplify it for you. Uh, next week, what we know is that you will certainly see rain on Monday. So as you're getting back to work, as you're getting the kids back to school next week, count on some rain. In addition to that, after that rain passes us by, temperatures will really drop. Now, it's already cool, especially tonight, and temperatures are really dropping into the 20s over the weekend. But then next week, we're talking about temperatures that may drop into the low 20s by the middle of the week for several days. So that's a hard freeze that we're forecasting. That is also part of the first alert. At this point, we're talking about rain first on Monday and then colder temperatures for the middle of the week. Now, the other thing I want to address that we've been sort of talking about over the past few days is the potential for winter weather. Um, we still don't know whether or not we'll see any winter weather or where that winter weather would be if it does happen, but that's something that we are also continuing to track for you. What we know for sure is that we'll see rain on Monday and that will be followed by much colder temperatures. So I want to walk you through the forecast model. And even this is subject to change over the next couple of days because it's so far away. But because it's the beginning of the week and you're back to work, we just want to give you an idea of what you can expect as of today. So this is Sunday, and the first part of Sunday will be dry. But we're already seeing the potential for some showers the second part of Sunday. At this point, Sunday is not a first alert because the rain isn't that heavy and it looks like it's the second part of the day so it's not as much of an impact but by Monday that rain starts to pick up a little bit more and most of you are back to school and work so that's why Monday is a first alert weather day even though the showers will probably start later in the day on Sunday so that's a look at the forecast model and right now you see those times at the top of the screen that's showing rain on Monday morning, even that could change. So it's so far away, the timing of the rain on Monday could change. But the reason why it's a first alert is because we know that at some point you will see rain here in North Georgia. So we want to make sure that you are aware of that here as you get your work week started. All right, in addition to that, we're talking about the potential for winter weather, and this is something that we have been uh, talking about for the past several days. So I want to show you two setups here for next week. Uh, basically, what we'll have is this low pressure that's going to determine exactly the type of weather that we see on Monday. At this point, uh, this is a pretty normal setup for us here this time of the year in the southeast. Uh, the center of that low, which is what you see in red, if that is in the Midwest, which is what I'm forecasting, then it'll keep the winter weather north of us and we'll be on the southern end of this system, which would mean just a cold rain for us here in North Georgia. That's possibility number one. Some of our models, though, are showing this, uh, that low being further south and actually closer to us in Georgia. If that low is further south on Monday, then it would bring some of that winter weather with it further south. So those are the scenarios that we're looking at, that low being further north, which means just rain for us, or the low being further south, which means that the potential for winter weather may come further south. And even if that happens, we still don't know exactly how far south. It could just be the mountains. So that's something that we're going to be watching for you very carefully. Right now, I'm forecasting scenario one, which is that low being further north, the winter weather being further north, and us just seeing a cold rain here in North Georgia. But again, our models are having a hard time uh, placing that low pressure, which is why you're seeing so many different versions of these forecast maps. Uh, but what we can tell you right now is definitely rain on Monday, followed by colder temperatures. And once the models start doing a better job as we get closer to Monday, uh, then we'll be able to tell you in more detail exactly the type of precipitation you can expect. But right now we're counting on uh, really just rain for North Georgia. I will say uh, if you're looking for the potential for winter weather, that chance is higher at this point if you're headed up into the North Georgia mountains. Uh, but again, we just don't know because uh, the model's not doing a great job at placing that low. So back to what I was telling you before, this is what we know. Definitely seeing rain on Monday, followed by much colder temperatures on Tuesday. You can count on that. Um, and then if the chance of winter weather starts to increase, that's something that we'll let you know. We're already starting to look at the mountains as a potential for that winter weather starting to increase. But again, at this point, just rain, cold rain on Monday, followed by 
colder temperatures for the middle of the week. Something else that I also want to point out is um, the timing may also shift a little bit. Right now, I'm looking at the rain on Monday, followed by colder temperatures later on in the week. Um, some of that may be pushed back into Sunday. The showers are starting Sunday night, and then it sort of extends into Monday. So uh, even Sunday, we may have to back up the timing of that rain a little bit. So all those details will sort of start to work on as we get closer uh, to Monday itself. But just so you know, right now, if you're planning a cold rain in North Georgia in Metro Atlanta on Monday, followed by much colder temperatures during the middle of the week and we'll continue to fine tune the models and that forecast and let you know if the winter weather potential actually increases or not but at this point we're just calling for rain so that's something we'll keep you up to date on for next week uh, it'll get cold the coldest that we've seen so far this year in atlanta uh, 24 degrees which was back in early december temperatures will be about that 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 range in the low 20s um, for the middle of next week, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, if not colder. Some of our models are even showing the teens possible up in the higher elevations of the mountains. So uh, rain on Monday, very cold air, like a hard freeze the middle of the week. A hard freeze is when the temperature is 28 or colder. So we're definitely forecasting that uh, for the middle of next week. So that's what you can count on. And the winter weather is still questionable. We're not really giving specific winter weather forecasts because we just don't know yet uh, whether or not that's a real possibility. But we'll keep you up to date uh, right here in the First Alert Weather app and on all of our streaming channels. Uh, as a reminder for today, uh, it's really nice this afternoon. Those clouds are already starting to clear out. So we'll be mostly sunny 60s this afternoon. And then tonight, temperatures are dropping into the 40s as a cold front moves in. So we won't need the jacket this afternoon, but if you're headed out for New Year's Eve, you'll definitely need a jacket, if not the coat, because not only will temperatures be in the 40s, but it'll also be a bit breezy, especially as you go north of Atlanta. We hope that you guys have a fantastic new year. We'll keep you up to date on this forecast. I'll have another update update for you on Atlanta News First at noon and First Alert Meteorologist Courtney Jacobazzi. She'll be tracking this system for you later on today on Atlanta News First. And as a reminder, you can always get your forecast in the First Alert Weather app. Happy New Year. And until next time, we'll see you soon.